Hello, good day to you. It's Talking Really here. So the question today is, is the uh, after a PIP mandatory reconsideration, is your money backdated? <laughs> So the question is, is it backdated? Well, this article was in the Express. Um, Pip mandatory uh, reconsideration gives people the chance to challenge uh, decisions when when they have been told um, a negative, i.e., they don't they don't qualify, or it's lesser money than they thought that they would get. So i.e., I, standard rate rather than than enhanced rate. So the only question that we need to know is, is it backdated? Well, in this article, it does go on a little bit about how you apply and what happens, uh, and also about the review system. So it says uh, the uh, reviews determine a rate at which um, subject to change, depending on the outcome of a regular assessment. Health professionals undertake the review and we all know that they lie, uh, so nothing, nothing new there. In this case, they can ask them to look at the decision if it's wrong. If they feel it's wrong, uh, it's via a mandatory re review, but it's done by the DWP. Anyone who wants to have a uh, mandatory reconsideration by the DWP, in case they have been told a... Uh, lesser amount or a wrong decision then you have to do that within one month of the date of your decision letter and if the uh, DWP approves it they will back pay everything owed to the first date of the original decision but the department may not get to re uh, reconsider some decisions whilst other other ones may have to go straight to appeal. People must also inform the DWP about their circumstances if they change, as obviously they are very hot on uh, penalties. And I don't mean the football kind, I mean the financial kind. <laughs> so the answer is yes, they do. They backdate the money to the original, to the first date of the original decision. So yes, you will not lose out. And that is good news. Although you may find that if you have to go through a, a mandatory uh, reconsideration, that probably the answer will be no anyway, again. And it may well be that you need to go to tribunal. And this can take forever. Uh, there is um, obviously a, a backlog of waiting time but also the fact is with this you know what they're not doing um in-person ones anymore they're doing um over the telephone or on the on the um on the old tippy tappy so you have to be very aware that sometimes it can take a little while uh, and of course remember people that if you are refused pip for whatever reason if you go to tribunal there is a 76% chance plus that you will win. You can, of course, uh, keep this uh, information uh, or you can share it, which will be very uh, appreciative. So please don't forget to click the link and share it around. Tell all your friends, bring them over and to subscribe. Thanks for watching and bye for now.